Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, guys, so we have the Ace of Cups, okay, followed by the Hermit. I did Taurus's reading and they did pull the Hermit card. You may have Taurus placements in your chart or you could be involved with one. We have the Five of Swords, okay. I see a new beginning, okay? Um, Ace of Cups being the first card. I do see a new beginning or at least someone thinking about having some sort or like turning over a new leaf. Um, I also see it as someone who wants to be emotionally expressive, um, but it could be someone that you're either not speaking to right now or they have a difficult time being open when it comes to their emotions. But here's what I will say. As much as there's this desire to express to you how they feel or there's this desire for a new beginning with the five of swords they're not completely sure because the five of swords is mental conflict it's someone who is still you know there's a little bit of back and forth energy um and in the five of swords he's holding on to three swords and the three of swords you know it symbolizes heartbreak or pain so it could be someone who wants to have a turn of events with you but there's some sort of hurt anger or frustration that they're still holding on to okay um you could be dealing with a virgo It's like what they want with you um, is, is um, like a new beginning or wanting to tell you how they feel, but they're feeling conflicted about it. So they're not entirely sure. It could be someone who's a bit fearful, fearful, the nine of wands wanted to show itself, or they don't have a way to communicate with you because the nine of wands could also be, um, you know, someone who is blocked. So we have the high priestess on the bottom of the deck and the lovers. Definitely a in very intense connection. Like this may be an individual where, or, or a connection where the both of you have a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of chemistry here. But with that high priestess and the lovers, it seems to me that there's more going on, uh, you know, mentally, emotionally, you know, energetically, as opposed to in the 3D. You know, high priestess and the lovers, it could be where you have a heavy fixation on a connection, Right. So this person could be heavily fixated on you or you could feel them tugging on your energy, but you may feel like there's not they're not really doing anything about that in the 3D here, because I do see some sort of silence between the both of you. But I also see this as you following your intuition or this is a week where you're using um, your intuition to kind of maneuver through the situation and it could be because there's a lack of communication or there's some sort of a sign that you're consistently seeing and you're not ignoring it you could also be dealing with a pisces or a gemini okay so i'm going to start off by seeing how they are viewing you this week Okay, Emperor. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. They're viewing you as very, um, like you could be a boss, you could have a business. So there's something about your work ethic that's coming through very strongly, but they're viewing you as someone who feels more in control of what's going on in your life. So they may feel like in the past you were <clears throat> you felt a bit scattered or there was something that felt like it was out of your control, but they're also having a very hard time reading you because there's like this very, like they're, they're viewing you, viewing you as operating in a very logical way, not necessarily from your heart space or they don't really see the vulnerable side of you this week. 
They also are viewing you as someone who's like taking care of business or doing the things that you need to do. So you may have like a list of responsibilities or this person may know that there's a lot that you're trying to kind of get done during this time and they feel like your focus is on that and that only. Two of Swords, okay, followed by the Ace of Swords in the challenge position. Okay, so what this person feels challenged by is, Cancer, I see someone who wants to tell you, or I should say, I see someone who wants to speak their truth. I do see it as someone who wants to converse with you, tell you how they feel, tell you what's bothering them. But with the two of swords, they feel like this can only go one way. And that's what's creating a block in them communicating with you. For example, it could be that they want to be open with you, but they feel like it's going to, it's not going to change the fact that you don't want to communicate with them. That's just a generic example because we did see the high priestess. So it's like, as much as I want to be open with cancer, if they're not wanting to be open with me, then what's the point? So there's like a very black and white or this, this or that way of thinking that is creating a block in them actually coming forward or speaking their truth. They also have a lot of questions about the future. They're very confused or they don't see something clearly with the two of swords. They may also feel like there's only one way to go about um, speaking their truth or, or, or finding a solution, but the Two of Swords, it could be like illusions as well, where you're not really seeing a new way of doing something or a new approach, but it doesn't mean that it's not there. So what I see is someone who wants to speak their truth, but it's like in their mind, they're like, well, it's just going to end up in the both of us not speaking again. Or what if cancer doesn't respond? Or they just, they're very attached to a specific outcome, even if you feel like that specific outcome is not how you're going to react. This is what's going on for them mentally. This is what they're feeling challenged by um, this week here. <clears throat> How are you viewing them? Nine of Pentacles. You're viewing them as someone who is enjoying their singlehood, someone who's very independent. This could be an individual that is well off, very stable on their own. And it's interesting because in terms of how you carry yourself or the energy that you're exuding, how they're viewing you versus how you're viewing them, it seems that the both of you feel like, you know, you guys or, or you're viewing each other in a very independent energy, a very, you know, I just care about myself right now or my business or my finances, but there's still thoughts about this connection or coming together. It's just interesting because the both of you are viewing each other as not as focused on each other, but that's just... Um, what's going on externally but internally there is a focus on having some sort of a new beginning with the ace of cups being the first card in your spread here so in your feelings we have the strength card some of you could be dealing with the leo and we have the knight of swords okay it's like, do you want to communicate with this person or do you feel more comfortable being held back? Because the strength card speaks about, you know, it's a very held back energy. It's when you're not really um, being vocal about maybe what's affecting you. You're also trying to be very strong about a situation where it's like, yes, it's impacting me, but I don't really want it to consume me or I don't really want to show that on the outside. So you could be masking some sort of pain or frustration that you feel. But then we have the Knight of Swords as well. So a part of you kind of just wants to break the silence or be open with this person. But with those two cards coming out together, it's kind of contradicting because you're going back and forth between those two energies this week. I also see here, guys, that like you could be very held back because you feel something this person communicated to you or this connection was moving very very quickly like there could be something that they communicated that you did not expect or there's something very fast moving about this energy that is causing you to i don't want to say feel fearful but it's causing you to kind of doubt the longevity of it it's like okay the way this person comes in and speaks to me maybe it's a case of love bombing and you feel like it's just something that temporarily you know, feel stable, but in the long haul, you can't really see where it's headed. Okay. 
six of swords and the ace of cups. Another specific message that I'm getting here, Cancer, is some of you could be held back from this person because you may have a piece of humble pie for them. And that may be something you don't really want to get into or there's something about communicating with this person that you this week feel like it may bring you out of character. Okay, that's for some of you. So six of swords and the ace of cups in your feelings is you trying to make peace with the situation it could be that you're quite literally trying to move away from this person or it's like a mental thing right trying to make peace with it move away from negative thoughts and we have the ace of cups in your feelings ace of cups as the first card some of you want to move towards something new but you feel like you have to completely leave this situation behind or at least make peace with it because making peace with it could be a form of closure for you Five of Pentacles. It seems to me, Cancer, that this is a week where you have a gut feeling or you, your intuition is telling you, you need to leave this behind. You need to make peace with this. You need to move on to something new. But then a part of you is also holding on to some sort of communication, whether it's holding on to something you want to say, but not feeling ready to communicate it or not wanting to communicate it, or it's something this person could have communicated to you. It could also be read as that where you did not expect it. And that's something that is still causing some sort of, you know, anger within you. Because with the five of pentacles, it's you looking at the situation and saying, I feel neglected or I feel abandoned in this situation. So shouldn't I just leave it alone? Shouldn't I just try to move forward? But then your heart is telling you, well, you should speak to this person or there's something that you feel that you should communicate. So a little bit of an internal battle that you're facing this week. Okay, so the Two of Swords is being clarified by the Hermit. So now we have the Hermit twice. A lot of repetitive cards for you. Um, the Ace of Swords being clarified by the Seven of Wands. It seems to me that this week this person feels like they, or they may remain held back because, again, they're they're attached to a specific outcome or they feel like reaching out or speaking their truth is only going to occur in one way or it's only going to you know result in in one thing again it doesn't have to be the truth it's just what's going on for them mentally and the seven of wands clarifying the ace of swords is someone who knows that they have been guarding some sort of truth or keeping something under wraps and as much as they want to reveal it i will say there's a bit of a defensive energy it's not that when they think about you know, speaking their truth, they don't want to do it at all. But there's a very defensive energy because the Seven of Wands is clarifying the Ace of Swords. So it's like, I want to tell you the truth and I want to be open, but I don't know if I'm ready or I don't, it, it's not really, I don't know if I'm ready. It's, I don't know if I'm ready for the outcome because they're just automatically assuming that you guys are going to end up at square one, or this is going to be a very repetitive pattern, like where you guys make up, but then something comes up again, or you guys, you know, resort to your old ways. Even if it's something on their end, they're very tired of a pattern. And Seven of Wands, you know, um, I also see it as someone who's very protective when it comes to this connection. Um, they're protective over you, over this connection. I don't see this person going to anyone for advice, even though they seem very confused or there are some sort of illusions that they're having a hard time seeing past. Hermit, Seven of Wands, someone keeping it to themselves. They're thinking about you, but they're not necessarily communicating it to someone else or being vocal about it so that they could, um, you know, receive some sort of advice. It's like how they're feeling, what they're thinking, they're keeping to themselves. Okay, so in their feelings, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, we have the Two of Wands. Thinking about the future with you. There's still a lot of passion here. Ace of Wands and Two of Wands is, you know, being fixated on what it is that you desire and, and furthermore creating some sort of a plan to, you know, uh, get closer to that goal. So for or in this person's case, it is someone who wants a new beginning with you, but they may be trying to create some sort of a plan. And something else I see here is you may feel like the ball is in their court, but they may feel like the ball is in your court. And the way that the both of you perceive each other is incorrect from how you guys 
actually are feeling. Does that make sense? It's like you feel this person is just focused on themselves. They feel like you're just focused on yourself or your finances, but the both of you are thinking about expressing some sort of a truth or a new beginning. We have the Ace of Cups twice. We have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So there is a desire for at least a conversation. There is a desire to at least turn over a new leaf, even if it doesn't result in a full-blown commitment. There's just a desire for emotional expression or, or speaking their truth here. And so how they feel is wanting a new beginning with you, but they're planning on either how to, planning on how to execute this or they feel like this requires a plan. It's not something that I can just communicate to cancer. They may feel if they were to communicate with you, you would be expecting that they have some sort of a plan in place. So it's like not wanting to do something impulsively. Empress in their feelings and the Eight of Swords. This person's very stuck on you because of what they could have with you. Does that make sense, Cancer? Empress is someone realizing the potential. It's someone viewing you as the entire package. But when you have the Eight of Swords, it's like feeling stuck because it's like I, I can't move on because I know what I could have with Cancer. I can't move on because I'm constantly thinking about a new beginning. And this person, you know, it's safe to say that they've had very high hopes for the future here. The Empress is, you know, it could be someone viewing you as their divine counterpart. We have the Emperor and the Empress. It could be someone viewing you as, you know, when I think of Cancer or when I think of my future, it was Cancer that I wanted to have a family with. It's Cancer that I wanted to marry. It's Cancer that I wanted to move in with, right? So there are a lot of promises and plans that they're thinking about. But what I see is someone who's very stuck on you and having a hard time moving forward. Like they can't stop thinking about you, but they also feel like their hands are tied. And I don't think their hands are necessarily tied because eight of swords, two of swords, it's more of a mental energy. It's just what's going on mentally. And so there's something here that they're telling themselves, which I feel like is, well, it's just going to result in the same thing. Or, well, if I speak my truth, I doubt it's going to change anything. Like that thought process is creating a block in them actually, you know, believing that something is going to be different or at least speaking their truth to you. The death card, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio followed by the world and the potential outcome. What's the death? Three of Pentacles, the world card, the Hierophant. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. I see this person wanting to come together. Three of Pentacles, I see it more so as like a discussion. It's not really a card of commitment, but you have the Hierophant here. There could be a, a discussion that you guys are having when it comes to your values. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, about a commitment or a higher level of commitment. It could just be that you are sharing your values or why things did not work between the both of you in the past. What's the Hierophant? The Fool card. Okay. The Seven of Cups. What I see in the potential outcome, guys, is someone who wants to work with you, but you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. Seven of Cups and the Fool card could be you trying to move on and actually having options, or it could be you trying to move on, but you're still feeling a bit confused because as you're connecting with this person, it seems that they want to work something out with you. And the Seven of Cups is you looking at the situation and saying, well, this could play out so many different ways, or you're thinking about every you know possible outcome here. Because I see someone wanting, you know, uh, to discuss um, or have a discussion with you. And the Hierophant, again, if it's not about a commitment, it could be someone who wants to express their values. Or maybe you want an opportunity to also tell them what you value. And, you know, it could be a conversation about that. But it's interesting here because they do have commitment. They do have marriage on their mind. But some of you are not willing to... Um, put all your eggs in one basket or fully invest in this situation with this person because in the past you didn't receive what you wanted from it. And yes, they want to reconnect with you, but there's still a bit of a doubtful energy that you guys are going to be able to come out of a repetitive cycle. Okay. So my wonderful Cancerians, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.